Hi, my name is Dalton Hesley and I'm a senior research associate at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School. Today I'm going to talk about our rescue reef program and how we combine coral reef research, restoration, and citizen science for social change. Unfortunately, coral reefs around the world have experienced dramatic declines over the past decades from a number of different stressors, both human and natural. Thankfully, the field of coral reef restoration has been developed and scaled to combat this decline. And we've seen a lot of success to the point that now restoration practitioners grow thousands of coral colonies and outplant tens of thousands onto reefs annually. There are pitfalls, however. The cost of maintaining a coral restoration program can be quite high. It requires a significant amount of people power, and these bottlenecks have made it difficult to expand, expand projects. But nonetheless, coral reef restoration has many applications. To start, it can serve as a tool for coral reef recovery. Secondly, it can act as an important vehicle for coral reef research on things like disease and coral bleaching events. But perhaps the most important is that coral reef restoration is an excellent platform for citizen science. So what are the applications of citizen science? To start, Citizen science aims to raise awareness and educate the public on the importance of some scientific endeavor. They provide hands-on experiential opportunities in research and have the potential to actually change perceptions and promote action towards transformation. So how do we build Rescue Reef with our coral reef research and restoration lab? Well, we combine that research restoration with public education that created this experiential rescue reef program. The goal was to bridge the gap between science and society so that our community could be more involved in restoring the future of coral reefs. So how do we accomplish this? We host coral reef restoration expeditions where divers and snorkelers actually have the opportunity to come on the boat with our researchers to restore local coral reef populations. So those expeditions start with a hands-on training session in the morning before we are offshore at our underwater coral nursery, where our citizen scientists will help with maintaining structures and collecting coral colonies before we're on the reef. At this point, they'll actually work with our team members to transplant corals and restore that local habitat. And we've been busy. To date, we've hosted over 50 expeditions with over 750 people coming on the boat with us. And those individuals have outplanted over 5,000 corals here in Miami-Dade County. So there are some assumptions and goals that we have for our restoration program grounded in citizen science. The first being is that citizen scientists can make a significant contribution to coral reef restoration. The next is that through contributing, this can improve perceptions and knowledge and foster stewardship for coral reef conservation. Lastly, that this level of engagement can actually build both community and coastal resilience. But we needed evidence of this. And so we hosted uh, a two-part research study to identify the impacts of our program. First, we distributed a survey to all of our citizen scientists after the expedition. With over 100 responses, we assessed their perceived knowledge levels uh, and experience. So what did we find? First, we found that by coming on our expedition, this did not change their perception of coral reefs. So individuals were already knowledgeable on the status of our corals. But importantly, it did improve their knowledge in coral reef ecology and restoration. Here you can see the mean level before and after. And lastly, we found that nearly 95% of all respondents said that they were likely to participate again, which is critical for a citizen science program that's looking to have sustained change over time. So now that we understood what kind of perceived impact our restoration program was having on the participants, we wanted to know what was happening at the ecological level. So we conducted a paired study at three different reef sites to assess the effectiveness of our coral restoration citizen scientists compared to our experts. Uh, so after outplanting 50 corals, uh, at each site, we came in and paired that 
and then assessed the survivorship after 30 days. So what did we find? First was that both groups had mean partial mortality within the benchmarks, which was really great. Most importantly is that there was no significant difference between the coral outplants by the citizens and the scientists, which is really important because 25% of all of our coral restoration work is done by citizen scientists. So that means that there's no significant trade-off by having those individuals from the public participate. So now we can revisit those assumptions and conclude that they are actual benefits of our rescue reef program. But research has shown that the benefits of citizen science is much larger than what I've already identified. It can increase scientific literacy, build that resilience, be a vehicle for research, it lowers the cost of restoration, it addresses community issues, empowers stakeholders, increases our efficiency, and many more. So what I would encourage all of you today is to either consider joining or developing a citizen science program within your research. Thank you. I'd like to acknowledge some of the individuals and organizations that allowed us to conduct this research and sustain our rescue reef program, and then conclude with a slide with my contact information, as well as resources for our rescue reef program. Thank you.